Year, everyone. <laughs> Happy New Year. Yeah. 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 It's, it's exactly the same, Amy, with um, uh, any time you do any kind of work with, with AV, with sort of PowerPoint and stuff, uh, like... I, I, there is a running joke at work that AV is um, uh, sort of ten percent knowledge and skill, um, and ninety percent black black magic and luck. <laughs> because, as as you say, so, sometimes you, you absolutely nothing can change. You, you plug everything in, in in exactly the same order. You turn it on in, in the same order you, you you always have. And some days it, it it will just go fuck you. I'm not working today. <laughs> And it's like, it's like, why? I don't understand. <laughs> but, uh, but enough about our sex lives. <laughs> so if, you're, if, you're, if your sex life is explained by a PowerPoint, Stu, I think I see the problem. Oh, plugging it in, turning it on. It doesn't work. That all sounds um, <laughs> very familiar. It does, doesn't it? You're sounding a bit, a bit husky today, Stu. Is the, uh, the holidays getting you down a bit? I had... Uh, so... We, so... Yeah, we haven't actually hit the holidays yet, but uh, no, three days uh, no three days ago, what am I talking about? Uh, last week, I went down to a lovely, lovely pool in Dorset uh, to work for a few days, and uh, while I was there, I had to um, use my UAV to take some footage, and I was sat on a rock by the sea for about four hours waiting for the ideal time to launch it and during that time I caught a filthy cold uh, coming out the other side of it but I'm still yeah a bit uh, sexy voiced (laughs) bit sexy bit bit, bit husky voiced we're getting back into 20 side after dark here right do a bit of Barry White (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna get enough of your love baby (laughs) you you missed um you missed Billy at the pub a couple of weeks ago, Dom. That's that's my partner. He was in a similar position of really deep husky voice to mm. the point that the moment one of the other DMs walked into the room and Billy said hello, it's the first time I've physically seen anyone do a double take <laughs> and <laughs> swoon. <laughs> he said hello in this deep, deep voice and they double took and then swooned and almost almost fainted yeah, yeah it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> fantastic but but Stu it's it, it's interesting you say that um uh you were by the coast all day and you got sick but that's that's mad at me because 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 I thought that sea air was supposed to be good for you it is unless you're sat on a fucking rock in the cold <laughs> for 4 hours <laughs> bad point too too much yeah. sea air too yeah. much sea air yeah <laughs> yeah, see, all things see, see, like, like all all things, sea air is good in mo- in mo- moderation. Something we have no moderation on is our podcast. Yay! <laughs> Tales from the Twenty Side, a Pathfinder Second Edition Let's Play podcast. Uh, my name is Dom, and I'm your GM for this game and for many others. And I'm joined by Stu. Hello. I'm joined by Amy. Hello. And I'm joined by Asta. Hello. Oh, it's weird. I can I can feel my I, I think my my throat is coming out in sympathy with you. Steve. I can feel <laughs> I can feel the tiny back end of the coal I picked up from Finland just creeping back in. I'm like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Yes. <laughs> and all in the last five minutes, we're, we we're coming out in envy of Billy. <laughs> <laughs> As you should. <laughs> Quite right. <laughs> he Billy is is a is a, is a, is a man. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> okay. I, I was going with that. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was trying I to mean, think of something. You're not wrong. Uh, <laughs> Can absolutely confirm. You're not wrong. <laughs> as, as descriptions go, yeah. Oh, so. That Billy. I was hi, trying to. Oh, hi, hi, Billy. hi, Billy, if you're listening. <laughs> He is oh. from the doorway. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. Oh, I don't, know, I don't know where I was going with that. I, was like, I, I, I feel like I should continue that that that, that thread, and I and my I, I got as far as man, and my and my brain just stopped working. I was like, oh, thanks, brain. That's really helpful. amazing. It's too oh. early. It is far too early. It's it's it's, it's midday. It's, the afternoon. It's, still it's still too early, Amy. Some of us have only been up for half an hour because we nearly overslept. Mm. Wonder who that could have been. Definitely I'm wasn't not, me. I'm not saying. Yeah, no, what? Well, not here either. No. 
Bright and early. I've already been out today. Oh, you're always up early. Yeah, we've yeah. discussed. I went to bed at two, so I was surprised. I want to know <sighs> what dark being you've sworn yourself to to have the energy to go to bed at two and get up bright and early. Please oh, put me in contact. <laughs> <laughs> it's only wow. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Amy's soul belongs, belongs, belongs to, to Azeroth. Yes, it, it does. It's the Lich King. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's quaking in his boots. And I'll meet him next year. Uh... There you go. <laughs> Speaking of evil overlords quaking in their boots, we've got a new prime minister then. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I mean, we might now, because Sunak's not doing very well, is he? I'll be completely honest with you. Uh, since I disconnected myself from Facebook and all, basically all forms of social media, I've got no fucking clue, clue what, clue what's going on going on, on on the world anymore. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's all sunshine and rainbows and unicorns and bunnies, and every, everybody's happy. <laughs> Everyone is Excellent. happy. It's a new year. It is. It is. Who's, who's going to be the first to say that 2023 can't be as? No, something, something, don't something. finish that no, sentence. Because, because we've we've been saying this for the last four years and it's, exactly. it hasn't worked. It's been getting steadily worse. Yeah, <laughs> it will be another year. That's what it's going to be. It will. I'm, 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 I'm going to try some sort some some reverse psychology here. Um, oh, 2022 was so amazing. 2023 can't possibly be any better. Sounds too sarcastic. Okay, yeah. Damn, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Failed. That. I, think, I, think that's gonna work. I think Amy has hit the nail on the head. 2023 will be a year. Billy is a man, and this is a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, only, only a Sith deals in absolutes, and we are we, are, we have turned fully to the dark side on this podcast. <laughs> yes, yes, Dom turned. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Absolutely didn't start there. <laughs> no. Good. I've got the voice for it. I've got the voice for it. Good. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh dear. Right then, folks. Um, I think we should probably, maybe. What do you reckon? Think about playing some Pathfinder. You are. You are in a very precarious situation. Uh, pray, pray, pray tell, what precarious situation have you found yourselves in? The the ability of rolling four nat ones in a row, mostly. <laughs> um, I I will confirm. I'm using different dice today. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. You didn't let them touch at all, did you, Asta? Because you, uh, you know about, that's how the bad luck transfers. Well, you know. All my D20s sit in the same pouch together in my dice bag, so um, I invite chaos. (laughs) (laughs) Famous last words. It's fine because we're agents of chaos. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Yes, that is our name. I believe we're currently being arrested. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. Della stabbed one, so that's not going to escalate. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just attacked one, didn't I? That's what yeah. I did. I mean, mm. that sounds to, like to, me. To be fair, you, you you haven't attacked it yet, but that, that that's definitely where we're going. That's quite yeah. Right. I I know I know the last thing thing you said was De- Della stabs it, but unfortunately we're playing Pathfinder, not Snap, so we have a thing called an initiative we have to roll first. <laughs> but, but Della has surprise initiative thing. Yeah, no, she does, she does, and I'm I'm gonna allow that to, to come into play when when we roll initiative. Good, good, good. Mm. I almost had a panic that my character sheet got deleted but it's fine <gasps> I found it. I know. Della just stands there frozen in spots <laughs> yeah. she's like oh no what yeah, can I do she, she, yeah she, she just, just starts T-posing and sort of lags, lags through, through, through the floor and stuff just disappears <laughs> <laughs> and everyone turns around and is like Raiden what did you do to Della did you do to Della <laughs> Yes. Natural twenty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you you guys are uh, in a sticky situation at the wrong end of the long arm of the law. Uh, how have you, what 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 has brought you to this point? How have we got here? Well, we're kind of White Throne's most wanted. Kind of. Yes. Kind of. <laughs> Twice. I think we succeeded at, at being the most wanted. Yeah. We should get a trophy. 
yeah, after pissing Lord Gorin off and then uh, um, doing a bit of uh, what, what do they call it? Urban Renewal <laughs> <laughs> um, with Lugrovich's it... clock tower Disaster Capitalism <laughs> yeah oh dear yes um, yeah and then we were we decided to walk out in the bright sunlight um, as a group jolly along tra la 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 to set off a big firework so we can go and save the world mm. and Chardonnay's still covered in soot so, so yeah, no one it. will know who we are you still yeah. get it's, it's clearly a different wolf we, we've we've got the wrong we've got the wrong we've got the wrong, the, the, we've got the wrong terrorists guys yeah. shut, shut it all down send them on the way <laughs> Oh dear. All right then, folks. Uh, let's get back into our situation here, guys. Um, so, just as a refresher for everybody else's memory, um, the four of you, uh, plus Chardonnay, uh, have been uh, sort of making your way through um, uh, the streets of White Throne. You've been heading in the direction of the Merchant Quarter, where you intended to set off one of these skyrocket flares, uh, basically to start this um, this little rebellion that. that that, that was going to be happening to give you a chance to get inside. Um, as you were approaching uh, the market square, where this thick forest is, and, the, and where you understand Baba Yaga's hut to be to be inside, um, uh, you start to realise that you had a tail of guards. Um, there were there were four uh, sort of four 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 human hu- human guards, along with um, Frost Troll, all wearing Winter Guard colours, and uh, you were stopped in the street by uh, two mirror men who stepped out of the shadows on either side of the street. Uh, they asked for your papers, uh, you presented your papers, and uh, the last thing that happened was uh, as they collected the collected these papers and scanned them over, uh, they, said to, they said to you in this cool telepathic voice that echoes through all, all of your heads, enemies of the crown and traitor to Irison, submit to arrest. And at that point, Della, De- Della was getting a bit twitchy with her knives. And so we're going to roll initiative. Uh, Della, what I will say um, is you can roll with deception instead of perception if you wish. I'll, I'll allow you to do that. In fact, I will allow anybody who wants to to, to do that. No, thank you. Because you um, all know what I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm off to a tremendous start in the year. Three on the dice for 14. Oh, dear. I got a 24. And Raiden has a 26. Moon moment, por favor. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one thing we never re- really established, like what what was kind of your marching order as you were moving through through the streets? Were you single file? Were you two abreast? Were you what? What were you doing? Um, well, I- I'm imagining that I've rushed forward in my absolutely. Attack, so I- I'll put myself at the front. Well, I t- I, t- I tell you what, I'll tell you what, what, what I'll say. Um, I'm going to put. Uh, I think it it makes sense in this scenario for Della to be at the front anyway, as mm. you know. You've just you've just handed over all of your papers and such. Um, the troll and the two human guards are um, sort of uh, they are maybe sort of twenty thirty uh, maybe thirty feet behind behind your your, your little, little group. Um, so um, who wants to go and go next to Della? I'm assuming Alwyn. I I think Alwyn would be yeah. Right. Uh, in that case, I will put uh, Raiden behind Alwyn uh, along with Amos, and we'll pop Chardonnay. Uh, just Ch- Chardonnay is just uh, near nearby. I think that's the best way to do that. Not an afterthought. <laughs> <laughs> we do forget about him a lot on this podcast. And the, uh, partially my fault. Partially not, my fault. Not as much as some podcasts forget about their uh, familiar <laughs> animal <laughs> companions. Shout out to the Danger Club podcast and James Fox. Say name no names with, with <laughs> Jim. We we weren't going to name names, and then we absolutely did. So uh, 
I was always going to name names. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> right, so... Uh, apologies for the wait. I didn't quite have the map encounter set up, so I'm just fixing that now. Well, to be fair, you did only get up half an hour ago. That's mm. very, very true. We'll let you <laughs> off you. this time. The, this time, sure, sure. I'll, t- I'll take that, I guess. I'll take her. Take her this time. Talk amongst yourselves, please, folks. Shot me long, and nobody says anything. Classic. <laughs> so we got a new prime minister then. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'll uh, I'll just roll a bunch of nat twenties on my spells, and uh, they'll all turn invisible, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I mean, hopefully not invisible. Hopefully you will just like delete them. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Just uh, control alt and uh, delete. Yeah. Just alt alt. Um, se- select Galarian dot dot exe alt alt f four. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, from Alwyn's point of view, he never saw the other troll reappear, did he? No, sir. So he still thinks, yeah, has to just point at <laughs> a finger and vanish the troll. And, yeah. And then threw a bit of floor at uh, a creature as well. Strange yeah. strange things happen around around Raiden. After, after <laughs> tower, yeah. <laughs> so I threw, I threw the Senate at him. <laughs> Everybody gets that reference. <clears throat> it was what I was thinking as as I was listening listening back to that. That's, that, that's, that, that that was what I was thinking of uh, as that happened. Uh, oh my god! I've, my dice are still in my bag from Wednesday. That's upsetting. Oh, <laughs> back in <rude>. a second. <laughs> so rude. <laughs> and finally, it happens to the DM. Yeah. <laughs> He can never judge well, again. <laughs> actually, while he's away from the uh, microphone and his earbuds, um, yeah. I've made some changes to the last episode since sending it out. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to the person who helped. Mm-hmm. Well, that's got <laughs> that's got you two wondering now what the <laughs> hell. <laughs> and dumb is none the wiser. No one's the wiser. No that's what wiser. you think. I'm <laughs> ah. the wiser. We were coming out your speakers again. No. That's, you were in my speakers all along. No. Yeah. Uh, in I, in your speakers no and in your heart. Oh, that's uh, really uh, sweet. Oh, in your chair. Me. Yeah. So, I... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I didn't actually hear what, what you were talking about. It's okay. No. Your secrets are safe was, uh, for now. That was deliberate. All I'm going to say now. is you're going to right. find out at it. Christmas. That's not terrifying at all. <laughs> <laughs> if, What's if you terrifying just... about Christmas surprises? <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, I mean, I'm all for Christmas surprises. Um, Stu appearing in my flat on Christmas morning, unannounced, is <laughs> a bit. Uh, it's a bit terrifying. <laughs> While I was doing that, do you want to see a photo of me when I was very young at school, like about seven or eight? Aww. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go that far. Alright, okay. So, um, I am there, folks. Thanks for your patience. Uh, Ryden, what was your initiative? Uh, it was 26. 26 for Ryden, okay. Right. Uh, Della? 24. 24 for Della, okay. Uh, um, Alwyn? A whopping 14. Oh dear, 14 for Alwyn. Uh, and I'm going to put Amos at the very end of the combat round just because it's easier. Uh, okay, so... Uh, with your with your mammoth score of 26, 26 six there, Raiden, you are the first of your party to act here. Uh, however, you are not the first to act act o- o- overall. Um, uh, so um, 
you uh, so as as this uh, as this this interaction begins to escalate, the, uh, the mirror man in front of Della demands the surrender of all of you. Um, you all start to see her hand drift towards uh, one of the knives she keeps tucked on her belt, um, and then you all hear a roar from 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 behind you. They're resisting, and. Uh, you hear big thumping footsteps as uh, the frost troll uh, comes stomping towards all of you. Nine, ten, twenty. Smashes into the back rank, and it is going to. Uh, uh, it takes a second action to draw its uh, its club, and it's going to bring the club down on top of on top of Ryder. So for that, Raiden, I have a 28 to hit. Uh, <clears throat> yes. Liberating step. <laughs> Perfect. 28 to hit. Oh, wrong. Garbage. Uh, so it, that will be 11 points of, bl- of bludgeoning damage to Raiden, uh, reduced to... Three. Right, so three point points of bludgeoning damage, uh, <sighs> thanks to Alwyn's in- interjection there. Uh, that's the, the end, end of the troll's turn. We are round to Raiden herself. You've just been clobbered by, by this troll, uh, but you, you, you were protected from, from the worst of it by, by, by Alwyn. <sighs> okay. Um, feeling the, the impact against probably her back, um, she's going to... Uh, spin on her heel to look up at the uh, troll Mm -hmm. and lift a hand to the uh, amethyst brooch that sits at her throat and as her fingers get close to it there's uh, sparks of uh, energy that start flying between them and growing stronger and then she will whip her hand back out and these strands of purple electric charge um, are going to move towards the troll and one of the human guards behind it uh, in an electric arc. Okay, so you cast electric arc. As you begin to cast this spell, Raiden, uh, the troll will use its reaction and take an attack of opportunity. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that's a good roll. That is uh, 30 to hit. (laughs) Yeah, that, that absolutely hits. Okay, so as you, just as your fingers, as this energy starts crackling, uh, you get thumped once again, uh, this time for 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, but you get the spell off. It's a reflex saving throw for those, isn't it? Yes. Okay, so for the troll, what's your spell, do you see? Uh, uh, 22. 22, okay. I can tell you, the troll rolls a critical failure. Oh, nice. natural one. And the human guard does not do much better. Two critical failures there. Okay. Do they have names? Uh, they do not have names. And also, ah. no, crit, no crit cards on saving throws, too. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Uh. So, roll, roll damage and double it. This is okay. going to be nasty. Uh, yes, it is, because I rolled pretty good. 24. Uh, points of uh, electricity. Nice. Is that 24 double already? <clears throat> yes. Okay, very nice. Zap streaks out across uh, across uh, the uh, across the street. Uh, you watch um, one of these uh, human, human watch officers um, with, a, with a shout and a yell. He gets sort of zapped. You see uh, the electricity sort of just, just crackling across, across his armour. Uh, as he as he uh, as he shudders and shakes, uh, the troll rec- also recoils very, very slightly. And uh, similar to what to, similar to, to, to what you've seen before, uh, you do start to see uh, those burns and those scars begin to seal themselves up. Okay. Uh, okay. That'll be that's left. me. I'm I'm just okay. gonna. Yep. I mean, what what you could do if you wanted to, um, there is an action you can take called called, called step, which basically let, lets you move five feet without provoking reactions. Um, 
if you wanted to, you, you could use that to get away from from, from the troll, uh, but potentially bringing you closer to one of the one of the mirror men. Uh, no, I think I'll stay where I am. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. In that case, um, that brings us round to Della. Uh, so, uh, because you because you rolled deception, Della, um, you get to use your your surprise attack surprise attack feature. Uh, yeah. Creatures that have not acted yet are flat footed to you. Yes, yes they are, and I have a mirror man right in front of me. Yeah, you do. Don't I? I'm excited to go toe to toe with one of these. So uh, I will continue with my twitchy hand, grabbing my hmm. What am I grabbing? I'll grab my uh, plus one cold iron dagger, and I will go for a swing. All right. Roll the attack. Woohoo! So that is uh, 19 on the dice, so 20, 34. A 34 against a flat footed mirror man is a critical hit, Della. Woo! Smash in. So. As four. Mm. So do I double everything? Yes, d- d- double the whole lot. Yeah, six, twelve, eighteen. Eighteen points of damage. Very nice. As you stab the mirror man, um, you, as you stab the mirror man, Della, you, you definitely hit something fl- fleshy, fleshy beneath it. As you draw, as you draw, draw, draw the blade, draw the blade back out. Uh, curiously enough, uh, there is no blood that is that that, that comes with it. Okay. Does it look like I've injured it though? Or? Oh, it, oh, it, oh! It definitely looks like looks yeah. like 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 you, you, you've injured it. Uh, okay. What, what I would say is, as you as you stabbed him with that, um, you did get the sense that um, its body was quite tough and leathery. You didn't do quite as much damage as perhaps you would have expected. Okay. It resisted well, some of that damage. I don't care. I'm going to attack it again. All right. Yeah. Twenty. Oh, hang on. Yeah, twenty-two. Twenty-two is a miss. You go for a second strike, and uh, it sees you coming, and um, it pa- parries you aside with its uh, with its golden longsword. Okay. Uh, did drawing my weapon count as a action? Uh, unless you have quick draw, yes, it did. Okay, cool. That's my turn over. All right. Okay. Uh, end of your turn, Della. We are round to the mirror men. Um, you see the two individual, uh, the two mirror men. Uh, they kind of, uh, one of them takes a step back, and in doing so, um, places a hand up to it, its its mirror, mirror, m- mirrored face, and you watch as uh, a, a ripple of magic um, tracks across its face. Uh, the other one is going to stay where, where, where it is and um, is going to attack the individual who just attacked it. And Della, you hear uh, you hear in your voice uh, sorry, you hear it, you hear it in your head um, so you have chosen violence and it's going to make three attacks against you. She chose wisely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first attack is a 35 to hit, Della. That's a crit. <laughs> That's a critical hit, okay. Very bad damage roll, though. That is um, 26 points of slashing damage. Is your strong Okay, if, that, if that's strike. a bad damage roll, I don't want to know what a good roll's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and for its actually, yeah, it's it's also going to it's also going to um, you see it it also lifts its its free hand up to its face, and you watch as a, as a ripple of magic uh, courses out from out from its from its fingers and washes across across the, across the surface of the mirror. Uh, that is going to end its turn for now. 
Uh, we're round to the regular guardsmen. Uh, you see the first things they're going to do. It's not going to be a whole lot this turn. Um, uh, kind of as, as as one, the four of them raise their shields, um, and they draw. They raise their shields and draw draw their war hammers, and they are going to move in to surround all of you. Uh, what, <clears throat> two of them move in, uh, flanking the troll either side. Um, and the other two... Yeah, so be- be- basically these, these, uh, these watch officers, these guardsmen, these winter guardsmen, um, <clears throat> they, they flow around all... all, all all of you, and you, and you now find that, that, that your your little group is mostly surrounded. Uh, but that takes their entire turn to do so. It's Alwyn. Right. The first thing Alwyn's going to do is put his hand on Della's shoulder um, and say, "Sorry, I know we should ask permission before touching, but never mind." And cast lay on hands. <laughs> Uh, so, Della, you get 18 hit points back and a plus two status bonus to AC for one round. Uh, second thing Alwyn's going to do... Uh, now, is there room for Chardonnay to get around Della, to get past the Della and the Mirror Man she's fighting? Uh, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, do, wh- wh- where do you want Chardonnay to go? Uh, I want to command Chardonnay to get into a flanking position with the Mirror Man, with Della. Sure. And, what and I will attack. S- what I will say, um, Alwyn, is where, where these Winter Guard, Guard have rushed up, um, Chardonnay is within reach of two of them. Yeah. And, w- w- again, what, what, what I will say, I think, I think you fought enough. For, you fought oh, these guys yeah. enough now that you know they have attack opportunity. Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's roll those dice. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll command Chardonnay to uh, flank with Della. Right. I mean, if, if nothing else, it burns their reactions. So five, ten. I think so, yeah. Chardonnay can easily rush round and flank with Della. Um, the Winter Guardsmen are going to take attack opportunity. Uh, that is an, I think it's an eighteen. An eighteen misses. No, it's, a, it's not an eighteen. It's a twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Twenty-three hits and a twenty-eight. I assume also hits. A twenty-eight also hits. Neither of which are critical. Okay. Oh wow! Roll minimum damage. Uh, so that is going to be. 16 points of bludgeoning damage as they both strike Chardonnay as Chardonnay uh, leaps away. Chardonnay is now in position uh, with Della. Okay. A um, bit of a yelp from Chardonnay and uh, an attack with those jaws. Uh, right. Uh, ooh, 17 on the die for a total of 28 flanking. 28 flanking is a hit, Alwyn. Yeah. Six points of damage. Six points of damage. Again, as Chardonnay bites in, uh, he finds that his bite is not as powerful as he was expecting. Uh, much of that damage is resisted. Okay. And uh, for Alwyn's final action, I mean, he's not drawn his rapier yet, but he's going to raise his shield. Yep, very, very sensible. Right. Okay. Uh end of Alwyn's turn we are round to bro- round to brother Amos you see Amos looks around looks around at, at the situation around him uh, looks at looks at all looks at all, all, all of you um, he looks you in the eye Alwyn and he says Alwyn I know it wasn't the plan but I think it's time and you can see he's he's pulling one of the sky rockets out of his out of his house of his back Okay, I mean, he's he's his own agent yeah. of chaos. <laughs> uh, yeah, Alwyn I mean, can't you... think of a reason to stop him. All right, okay. So Amos' first action uh, is he uh, he pulls this skyrocket out of out of his out of his pack out of his pack. 
uh, his next action, uh, he sort of pulls the... He, he, he points it toward um, the mirror man that is hassling De- hassling De- hassling De- 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 Della, pulls the re- release cord. Um, there is this cacophonous screeching sound. Ima- imagine like, like a scream of firework as it as it as it goes up. Um, uh, a massive hiss of sparks and a whoosh of air as the, this rocket streaks towards the mirror man. Let me give it a reflex save. It ducks out the way. It's, it, it sees what Amos is doing. Uh, it ducks out the way just in time to avoid the rocket itself. Uh, but you watch as the rocket arcs up into the sky um, uh, and explodes um, with a with a with a cacophonous uh, with a cacophonous boom, um, far far louder than you might have expected something of this size, this size to make. And you can see that as the, um, the firework sort of coalesces you see it for a brief second it takes the form of a red rose hanging in the sky um and uh he amos will discard the used rocket to one side and then he will punch the guard next to him <laughs> for his last action oh actually no he's got flurry of blows he's gonna flurry of blows the guard next to him I really need to get his character sheet off him <laughs> at some point. It's a hit. It pro- yeah. probably is a hit. Um, Alwyn, what's your what's your current hit bonus? Uh, it depends what I'm using, but let's. Uh, uh, for a fist, it is plus fourteen, and my strength is three below. So it'd be plus seventeen at release. Okay, yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's gonna definitely that is almost certainly a hit. Um yeah, you see he punches this guard twice. Do some damage for him. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so two two quick strikes um under under the under the jaw of of this individual here, uh, he sends the guard reeling, but obviously is not knocked down just yet. Uh, that ends his turn. Uh, we're back round to the troll. Uh, you can see um, some of the that injury, that electricity that that, that was just that, that Ryan just hit hit the troll with, um, as you've seen before, begin, begins to close up. And in this position, it's going to make three attacks. Uh, so it's just seen Amos set this flare off, so it's going to make one, two against him, and one against Raiden. Okay. Uh, Raiden, does a 21 hit you? Uh, that is my AC. 20 is your AC, okay. Uh, so, Bryden, you're going to take a nasty hit here. Maybe not so nasty. Uh, that is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, I would like to use a reaction. Mm-hmm. Um, to cast Blood Vendetta. Oh, very, very nice. That's a uh, fortitude save? A will save. A will save? Okay, well, this is going to go so, so well. <laughs> uh, let's go too badly. That is a dirty 20. Uh, my DC is 22. That's a failure. That is a failure, then. Um, so, uh, that is 2d6. And that is uh, two sixes on the die. That is 12 bleed damage. And... Uh, was it a reg- it was just a regular failure, wasn't it? Just a regular failure, yes. Uh, so until the bleeding stops, the target has weakness one to piercing and slashing. Very, very nice. So, um, oh, so, oh, so because because it's, it's persistent bleed bleed damage, um, it takes that damage at the end of its turn. Sure. Um, but uh, you, you you've pre roll you, you've pre rolled it, so that's that's okay. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll use that roll roll for this turn. 
always forget how much reactions just fuck everything up. <laughs> <laughs> um, there we go. Uh, so yeah, it's, so, so it, you see, it, it strikes Amos um, heavily um, once, uh, goes to do so. So a second time, Amos leaps out 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 of the way as as the club sweep foot sweeps for his legs, and he brings it down down onto you as well, Bryden, and you react by uh, just blasting it with this mag with this magic and. and you can now see that uh, the, uh, the troll's face is all, all lacerated. You can see it, see blood just pouring from, from its wounds. Uh, that will end, end its turn, which means it will then take that 12 points of damage. Does it recover from the bleeding? It does not recover from the bleeding. So it continues to bleed. Uh, it's now Raiden's turn. Ah, oh, so many ideas. Uh, I'm going to reach up towards the troll in front of me mm-hmm. and uh, my hand begins to radiate with this inky blackness and uh, I'm going to cast Chill Touch Chill Touch, very nice is a fortitude fortitude save on the troll fortitude save, oh that's not great a dirty 20 again, that's a failure okay, uh, is it living or undead? It is a living creature. Okay. That's a nice amount of damage then. Uh, Would you have healed it otherwise? (laughs) (laughs) You'll never know. (laughs) Oh, that's a good roll. That is 13 points of uh, negative damage, I think. 13 points of negative damage. Very, very nice. The troll does not seem seem to resist that. You watch as it's um, it's it's it, its muscles sort of shrink for a second as you as you see almost see the moisture and the goodness of j- j- just drawn out of its body. Um, it winces in pain, groans in 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 agony. Uh, but uh, yeah, is uh, took took t- took that hit as you as you would expect. Excellent. Um, that's the end of my turn. It's the end of Raiden's turn. Okay, end of Raiden's turn. We're round to Della. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to slap this mirror man in front of me again. Slap that mirror man. I shall do so with my dagger. Mm. I would like to use my hero point. Okay. Did you roll a one by any chance? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's a bit better. Uh, that is a 26. 26 against a flat-footed mirror man is a hit. Wonderful. Let's roll some sneak attack damage. So that is 15 points damage. 15 points, very nice. like to do and this person in front of me annoyed me did not mm. roll very well then at 17 17 is a miss and i'll do the a last final attack which i wish i didn't because i rolled a one. Oh dear Ooh. roll a d6 for me amy i got a three. Oh, that's a critical fumble for della Yay! <laughs> what do we got <laughs> What do we got? Let's have our a little first look. crit card of the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't want to waste any time. Okay. Okay. So Della, De- Della, as uh, you, you lunge in with, with your first strike, finding purchase on the creature's flesh. Um, the second strike, or, as as big and lumbering and sort of imposing as these mirror men are, uh, they're very quick on their feet and seem seem to be um, you know quite adept. With uh, with the blade in their hands, the second strike it parries you aside once more, almost in like a like a like a pirouette riposte. Um, and as you go to go to make to make your third third strike, uh, out of frustration, um, uh, you actually overextend yourself a little self a little bit, and you feel um, uh, you feel a sharp tweak in your in in, in your shoulder uh, as you drew strained. Stella. So until you are healed, you are clumsy too. So what clumsy does? Uh, clumsy is um, a status penalty uh, to dexterity-based rolls equal to the condition. Okay. 
So um, that that also includes so that includes uh, your AC, your reflex saves, and basically anything anything that uses Dex is taking a minus two penalty until healed. Okay, wonderful. Oh, ow! Damn it! Right, uh, that's that's going to end your turn, Della. Mm-hmm. Okay, end of your turn. We are back around to the Mirror Men. Um, the creature uh, that, that kind of took a back seat hasn't involved itself so far. First thing it will do is it takes a step um, to its right in order to flank Chardonnay with its comrade and it's going to make a strike against Chardonnay. And it doesn't roll that well. Uh, 28 to hit. No, that's the wrong... No, that's right. 28 to hit. 28 is a hit. Liberating step. Liberating step. Okay. Uh, that would be 20 points of slashing damage uh, reduced to 12 alright okay. okay for its third action uh, for its third action it's going to try again uh, but it rolls like garbage um, it might still hit though 20 no hang on uh, four, four minus five is minus one. Nineteen to hit is going to miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Okay, awesome. Okay, uh, so um, the, end, the, the end of that one's turn. We're back around to the one that is uh, in front of Della. Uh, it is um, going to swing. It sort. Yeah, it's. It sort of says um, in. All of, in this telepathic voice once more, you all, you all, you all hear, 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 hear this. Um, this is the way. We will extinguish you without, without the need for, for a trial. And he's going to attack, attack Alwyn. Uh, uh, Thirty-four to hit Alwyn. Oh, I'm glad I've got my shield up. Otherwise, that would have been a critical. <laughs> Fifteen points of slashing damage, Alwyn, as this this golden longsword slashes into you. Ow! Uh, it's going to. It's then going to make a strike towards Della. Uh, Ten thirty to hit. That is a hit. Uh, Eleven points of slashing damage, Della. And lastly, it will swing round and take advantage of its comrade being there. It will strike at Chardonnay. Uh, 20 to hit against Flatfooted. No. All right, okay. Uh, so th- it just th- th- it becomes this dervish of steel and gold, just slashing and whirling. Um, Alwyn and Della, you take nasty strikes. It goes for a third strike against Chardonnay. A Chardonnay leaps out of the way at the last second. End of its turn. We are round two, uh, the Winter Guard. Uh, you see, uh, they're kind of in, 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 a good, in decent positions. So again, you see, the first thing they they, they all do is they raise their shields, um, and they will step in, um, sort of ba- basically f- fully hemming all of you in. Now, every single every single one of you has one of these um, these winter guard uh, in in base con- contact attack with you. Um, and then they will uh, each make an attack. So against Alwyn is a natural 20. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> it's a natural 20. Uh, dice. Dice what do. There we go. Uh, 24 points of bludgeoning damage, Alwyn. Double L. Against Raiden, that is a 17 to hit. That will miss. Against Amos, uh, it's a 19 to hit. That's also a miss. And against uh, Della, my god. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit against Della. Nope. <laughs> okay. 
So this 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 one guard, this one hyper competent guard, whacks Alwyn across the face with face with a hammer, and the rest are all like, "Which end do I hold this with?" <laughs> <laughs> Everything happens to Alwyn. <laughs> It does seem to, doesn't it? I, I, honestly, I've been wanting to address this for a while because I, I feel like sometimes it comes across like I'm targeting Alwyn. I promise you, no, I'm not. no, no. I don't, I don't get that vibe at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's amusing, though. All right, uh, end of uh, their turn. Their very ineffective turn. Uh, it is Alwyn. Right. <clears throat> uh, can I get to the one that attacked Chardonnay? Uh, presumably I would risk an attack of opportunity from multiples uh, you would risk two attacks of opportunity that would be really fucking stupid at this point ok first thing I was going to do he's going to raise his shield again mm-hmm. second thing he's going to do he's going to draw his plus one striking rapier uh, for a free action he's just going to call over his shoulder Don't fire an acid on those trolls don't forget and uh, he's going to stab the mirror man that's uh, hassling him and Della. All right, got the attack. He's going to try and stab the mirror man that's hassling <laughs> with a 26. 26, I can tell you, against a non flat footed mirror man is just enough to hit out. Oh, good. Oh, less good. Uh, six points of damage. Six points of damage. Again, you plunge in with the rapier um, with this deadly strike, and you, um, uh, yeah, uh, the creature resists the worst of that blow, Alwyn. Right. Mm. That's three actions. That's Alwyn done. All right. Uh, oh, shit, I didn't activate Chardonnay. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dear. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh well. At least you. At least you. Got, at least you got. You, you got your weapons out now. That's the main thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. End of Alwyn's turn. We're round to brother. Round to, bro, to brother Amos. Um, and you can see he's sort. He's sort of looking around. Um, uh, a little bit frantic. Well, fat fucking. Well, fat fucking good that did. And he goes. Uh, he's just going to go into. He's going to go for a, for a uh, a one inch punch against the guard directly in front of him. <laughs> and he rolls a natural 20. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And he's named. Well done, Amos. <laughs> he is named. Oh, that's not <laughs> Disgusting. Right. His amazing. name is we Amos. Need all the help we can get. He drew a crit card. Oop, 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 oop. <laughs> <laughs> in the room. His name was Amos. He drew a crit card. <laughs> <laughs> Three damage dice, that's what I wanted. So it's no cannon, Amos dances at the Cobra Cabana. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> Six, nine. In a dress lit up to there. Very nice. So, yeah, he just he stands there and he winds up uh, with this um, massive haymaker against the guard in front of him. Uh, as he strikes, uh, he strikes the guard in immediately next to him. It's not enough to kill him, but it's a heavy, heavy blow. And you watch as uh, as as this guard sort sort of staggers back back to his stance. Uh, you can see he looks a bit dazed. In fact, he, he looks uh, he yeah he he looks a bit dazed. His eyes aren't aren't, aren't quite focusing pro- 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 properly uh, as he has become fatigued from that tiring blow by by, by Amos. Uh, at the end of Amos's turn, um, you all hear um, from elsewhere in the city. Uh, you hear these similar scre- screamer rockets go- go- going up. Yeah, uh, four, five, six, ten of these rockets go up across the city. Um, and uh, you watch as, uh, and you start to see the uh, the Winter Guard um, and the troll. They start to they, they start to they start to look 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 at the sky, just a little bit nervous, um, perhaps. Uh, but for the time being, we're back round to the troll. Uh, once again, you see some of the troll's injuries close up. 
uh, and it's going to it's going to make three attacks. Uh, one, one against Amos. Fucking natural twenty, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm rolling so many crits today. What's going on? <laughs> Can, can you roll more of the other type? That's it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> ask, ask the dice nicely, and maybe they will. Uh, <laughs> they will. Um, they will acquiesce to that request. Uh, it's second attack, uh, emboldened by this, it's going to attack uh, Amos again. Uh, that's not so good. That one's going to miss. And for its third strike, it will strike against Raiden. And Raiden, I've got a. I think that's a miss. That's eighteen to hit. That is a mess. Okay, all right. Sadly, trolls don't have all that much interesting stuff apart from hit things until they fall over. <laughs> I mean, they regenerate. How fucking interesting do you want them to be? <laughs> well, I mean, fr- from a gameplay point of, point of view, like j- just rolling th- three attacks every turn is really fucking dark. Oh, don't yeah, doing yeah. That. I, get, I get that. I get that. Um, end of the troll's turn. It is still bleeding. Roll 2d6 or we're falling right Okay. Oh, that's good. That is uh, eight. Eight, okay. So Raiden certainly seems to be uh, counteracting at least some of the creature's regeneration. Uh, but it is, you, you can see the these injuries are still closing up. However, it does continue to bleed. Uh, Raiden, it's your turn. Uh, glancing over my shoulder towards... Stella and Alwyn, how do they seem to be faring against the Mirrorman? Uh, in in what sense? Like, how are they doing? How is the Mirrorman doing? Uh, how is the Mirrorman doing? And uh, I've heard some exclamations of pain from my allies. So, a little bit of both. So the Mirrorman um, doesn't look too phased. You can see there's a few holes in its robes, uh, sort of ex- exposing um, this sickly pale flesh flesh beneath um, I mean it's, it certainly still seems to be capable of fighting um, Alwyn and Della how are you looking I've still got loads of fight in me Good. I mean, y- you, you can be open with your hit points if that's, if that's easier um, 47 at 66 uh, Alwyn is looking uh, pretty rough on 59 out of 98 and Chardonnay is in serious trouble at 26 out of 54. Okay. Um, taking this in, uh, Raiden's going to look skywards, and um, her eyes are going to turn pure white, completely removing the heterochromia. And she is going to cast Sudden Bolt on the Mirror Man that is uh, attacking chardonnay i think the one that's flanking one well, that's flanking so, so not the one that's attacking uh alwyn and Della. no the, sure thing. the okay. other one talk to me about uh, sudden bolt is that an attack roll is it a reflex save uh it is a reflex save reflex saving throw for the mirror man what's it got it's got a pretty good uh pretty good roll there uh 31 um oh. right yeah, uh, I don't know if that still does half damage or does nothing. What does the spell uh, say? You call down a small bolt of lightning on the target, dealing 4d12 electricity damage. Uh, so it's probably a small bolt. <laughs> does, does it does it say basic in the in the save description? Yes. So what a basic save is basically that's um, a short way of saying um, save for half damage, um, that okay. kind of thing. So it still takes half damage. Oh, that's okay. Uh, one minute. Need to do numbers. But now we know that Raiden controls the frigging weather. <laughs> <laughs> Raiden of oh, the shit. storm. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. That, I rolled 30 damage. 30 Ooh. damage. Very, very I nice. I wish that connected. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so hard as- to... As as uh, as you as you drop the light, this this sudden bolt onto the mirror man, um, 
it's curious. Like you see, you see that you, you see that this bolt drop onto, onto the mirror man. Uh, the lightning crackles across its body. You see its muscles and its arms uh, almost go into um, almost a spasm as this power courses through th- 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 through the body. As it does so, the mirror man lashes out towards Chardonnay with, with its free hand and is going to attempt to grab him. Uh, that is a, a twenty-eight against Chardonnay's um, reflex DC. Oh, uh, uh, that is yeah. That that's a hit. Um, I've if he's grabbing him. I'd like to use liberating step again, please. Sure. H- hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Just checking something. But I hate looking up grappling rules in any system. Because they're the worst. Oh, it's against Chardonnay's Fortitude DC, if that makes any difference. Uh, Fortitude DC, yeah, it, it's... What, what was the total, sorry? It was a 28. Yeah, that's still a success. Okay, um, still a success. All right. Not a uh, so success. As, as, uh, as the creature reaches... As it's sort of just lashing out, it, it, it grab, grabs hot, 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 hold of Chardonnay... Um, you see, some some of the electricity arcs off of um, arcs off of the mirror man onto Chardonnay, almost as if, as if it's grounding itself. Um, uh, Chardonnay takes thirteen points of, of electricity damage. Oh! Uh, now, as I'm doing liberating step, would that yes, be and now and now and now liberating step comes into play. Okay. Um, so yeah. so reduce that by by eight. And uh, Shana can immediately attempt to escape. Okay, is that a fortitude or a reflex or? Uh, so escape is, I believe, it's Chardonnay's choice of athletics, acrobatics, or an unarmed strike. Uh, acrobatic. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, let me just double check our unarmed strike because that's going to be a jaws attack, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Um, nothing between that and athletics so let's go with the strike okay uh, total of 22 it's not enough um, as, okay. as, as as the creature reaches out in this just lashing out in this way um, the electricity almost causes its its grip to tighten and it has a very tight hole on Chardonnay right and Chardonnay can't move so can't step as a free action okay alright okay um, we're still on Ryden's turn. And have you got uh, you got one action left, Ryden? Uh, I will use an action to panic. <laughs> That's pretty uh, pretty good use of the action. Uh, so, Ryden, just as um, as uh, you've dropped this this lightning bolt onto 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 the, onto the mirror man, I, I, sh- I should add it did look like it took that damage. Um, okay, that, that was certainly, certainly seems to be effective. Um, uh, as as uh, just as you finish casting this strike, you see it still standing. You see it ground itself on Chardonnay. Uh, you see that the, the Winter Guard closing in all, all 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 around you. The troll looming above you, behind you, and uh, this small sense moment moment of despair starts to creep in. And there is a whoosh of magic from somewhere 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 behind you and you watch as uh, the troll bursts into flames and that is where we end for tonight oh, oh my goodness Tales from the Twenty Side is a Fiegel Films production in association with Juicy Falls. Music by Alexander Nakarada and editing by Stu Jackson. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Discord by searching Tales from the Twenty Side or by visiting talesfromthe20side.com.
tried to <laughs> <laughs> tried to help Chardonnay, made it worse. <laughs> uh, am I evil? <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like to think like when we're all done and we're like back in an inn somewhere, and there's a little bit of a moment where you're sitting down, looking into a, a, like a pool of water, and you start singing that Mulan song. But you're yeah. like, am I evil? <laughs> 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 oh. Well, it's interesting. Oh, the only character I've ever played that could cast Grim Tendrils and uh, had that reaction, um, Blood Vendetta, um, and things like that. Yeah, that was a that was a character that walked the line. I will, I will <laughs> die on this hill. Everybody says he was evil, but he I mean, walked the line. He did some pretty <laughs> evil shit. Let's be honest. <laughs> He did some good <laughs> stuff as well, but yes, you know. yes, it's 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 not a balancing act, though, Stu. Like no, just no. He's he was y- you yeah. know don't donating to, to an orphanage to, that does not offset murdering a puppy. He, he had <laughs> heard of morality and just didn't think it was for him. That was. Yeah, didn't, didn't 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 believe in it. Didn't believe in yeah, it. Yeah, didn't see the point. <laughs> oh dear! Wow! Yeah. Oh, new oh. year, new battles. Fight. <laughs> More chaos. All kicked off. 